One of the objectives from our lesson is to understand the role of the changing sun angle and the tilt of the Earth on its axis and the roles that those play in the changing of the seasons. And so to look at that, we're going to start with a virtual flashlight. And we have a situation here where our virtual flashlight is pointed directly at an object, so the light comes in perpendicularly and strikes the object. You can see that it's, the light is fairly bright. It's spread over a small area, so the amount of light per unit area is high, and the light is intense as it strikes the object. But if we change the angle of our flashlight and make the light come in at a lower angle and strike the surface, the light now gets spread out over a larger area, so the amount of light per unit area is now lower, and the light is dimmer on the surface. It's not as intense. So even though the same amount of light is coming out of the flashlight, it's dimmer on the surface because of the lower angle that is striking the surface. You could try that experiment at home with a real flashlight if you wanted, but in a nutshell, you've seen the reason for the change of seasons. Earth is tilted on its axis at a 23 and a half degree angle, and as it revolves around the sun, the location that gets the direct beam of light when it's coming in perpendicularly, that location changes throughout the year. It's always between 23 and a half degrees north latitude and 23 and a half degrees south latitude. Uh, for example, uh, over the equator, the equator gets the direct beam of light twice a year uh, on the spring equinox and the autumnal equinox. And during other parts of the year, that direct beam is over other various locations between 23 and a half north and 23 and a half south. To better see how the changing sun angle impacts the seasons, we have an animation here of the Earth revolving around the sun, and the Earth is tilted on its axis at the 23 and a half degree angle. And the seasonal designations here are for the northern hemisphere. So we can see the situation in the northern hemisphere and why it's warmer in northern hemispheric summer. We can see here that when the, it's summer in the northern hemisphere, the, the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun. So the sun's light is coming in at a more, and striking the surface more directly. And uh, so the heating power of the sun is higher in the northern hemisphere during summer. Meanwhile, in the southern hemisphere, that hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, and the light gets spread out uh, at, over a larger area. The sunlight is coming in at a lower angle, and so the heating power of the sun is reduced in the southern he hemisphere. That's why the southern hemisphere is having its winter, while the northern hemisphere has its summer. We can check out the situation, which is just the opposite then, in northern hemispheric winter. During the, winter's northern hemis during the northern hemisphere's winter, the sun angle uh, is low in the northern hemisphere. It's coming in at a lower angle, and the light is spreading out over larger areas, so the heating power of the sun is reduced because the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, and the light is coming in at a low angle. Meanwhile, in the southern hemisphere, well, it's pointed more directly at the sun, and so the uh, sun is coming in more directly, the light is coming in more directly, and the heating power of the sun is stronger in the southern hemisphere, and that's why when it's winter in the northern hemisphere, it's summer and warmer in the southern hemisphere. With this basic understanding, then, we can ask ourselves a couple of interesting questions, like what would happen if we change the angle uh, of the Earth's tilt to, say, 50 degrees, so it's much more tilted? Well, that would actually result in more extreme seasonal changes, because, say, we had a 50 degree angle of tilt here, the northern hemisphere during winter would be til tilted even farther away from the sun, and the sun angle would be even lower, and the sunlight would be spread over a much larger area, so the heating power of the sun would be reduced even further, making winter in the northern hemisphere even colder. Meanwhile, in the southern hemisphere, the sunlight would be coming in even more directly, and it would be even hotter. So you'd have more extreme seasons if you increased the angle of the Earth's tilt. But if you reduced it all the way to zero, say the Earth had no tilt on its axis, then seasonal variation would go away completely because the angle that the sun's light was coming in to the Earth would not change throughout the year, and so we wouldn't have any changes to our seasons.